Objection, Your Honor. I have, in my defense, this month's update. Okay, hello everyone, welcome. So, uh, welcome to the Phoenix White World in VRC here. Pretty nice, isn't it? Spiffy. Yes, indeed. Because you've got to hold it! And take that! But anyway, getting on to the update. So, what's going on? Uh, the roundtable meeting for December um, didn't really reveal too much. Likely, it is going to continue doing over time. So, what's currently been going on is likely going to still be a problem with my content for a while. So, first thing, what was said at the roundtable meeting for December. So, what was said at the roundtable meeting in December was that, basically... If everything goes very smooth, no problems, no additional weird economic shortage problems, that we, in theory, will be back to normal by September. So, that's nine months. So, yeah. And that's at the bare minimum, which is unlikely going to be happening, because, you know, snow season... Uh, right now, we just got our first little icy snow today. It's not too much, but uh, yeah, you know, snow season's going to be start kicking in here in Missouri, and our weather is like, ugh, it's just unpredictable. We get, like, when fall and winter will begin here, we get, like, everything going on. Hot days, cold days, neat days, windy days, snow days, ice days, hail days, it's just... Hell. <laughs> so, who knows what the hell might happen in that regard. And of course, there's of course, the economic steel shortages, which if I haven't mentioned before, is a thing happening with steel. It's, it's working in a factory, you know. Why we not too shocking that we use steel for a lot of things, you know? So, yeah. So, that's at the base minimum on that. So, in regards to what I'm doing currently, so take that. So what I'm doing currently is, uh, I have the second and third month, I took my half days on Thursdays. So, uh, the, th the only, um, because there's five weeks in the third month, so the, I did the first four weeks. So the fifth week is kind of in limbo. Now, as for, you notice I said the second and third month, and not January, though, our first month. And uh, in regards of January... Realistically, if I use all my vacation, except for the one week to carry over into the next year, if I use that, I could get it a little longer, but I like carrying that over for, like, the original idea of carrying over my vacation week into the next year was to try and use it for a vacation thing, which kinda didn't work out because of, you know, it's, it, <laughs> you know. It, <laughs> but um, so I'm just still doing that. Hopefully, uh, when things get a little normal, maybe I can take a trip to Japan or something. Or that I have a few places I'd like to try and visit. You know, get a little wo more worldly horizons out there. You know, so you. Yep. <laughs> in this world's a little weird when you quite in it freezes after, so don't mind that. <laughs> Your honor. Anyway, continuing on the defense. <laughs> so, January I'm going to be walking whenever we walk. Two reasons for that is, like I said, if I continue doing my carryover week and use all my other vacation, that's only going to cover essentially eight months. And I think I already mentioned this before. So, that means realistically there will be four months of time that I'm going to have to walk. So, I figured might as well just get January out of the way. I've basically gone out of everything after July. I think I've only had, what, three weeks of overtime I had to work after July because I started doing the half day thing. So, I just figured, you know, I've already been on a pretty nice break in that. So, I might as well just walk January, get that out a little, and then uh, take a little break again with the next two months and then uh, kind of see what goes on um, 
from there on, what I'm probably going to do is, and I mentioned this before, probably do like two weeks, half days, and work two weeks of that. I'm hoping we'll see better results sooner than later than September, but, you know, the economy is a fucking mess right now when it comes to workers. Steel, like I said, has been a mess. Things being delivered on time has been a mess. Like, the tools we use have actually had a slight shortage <laughs> because, you know, they're also made out of steel. Oh, deal. So, yeah. Actually, hell, uh, on... It was a Tuesday two weeks ago. They were actually thinking they were maybe going to shut us down because we didn't have enough tools to keep walking. But then they just decided, okay, use the old tools. We'll, we'll just try to grind through with the old ones. So, uh, so yeah, who knows what the hell could happen in that regards to that. So... Hopefully, we're hoping for the best, though. Now, uh, in regards to content, um, I do have one review I'm still working on that's very long. It's the Saga Frontier review. Uh, I've been working on that a little on the side. I need to get a little bit more footage just to finish off, but it's almost done. And I got two more views I need to get recorded and start processing also. So I'm going to try and, of course, stay update, uh, up to to task on reviews um let's play wise might get split it out a little bit more because um depending on the overtime and stuff i may may have to stretch instead of every day depending on things kind of depends you know all the situation holiday and things have I kind of fell a little behind. Uh, Cthulhu, we do got Christmas Cthulhu that uh, filled out the end of December. And we still do have all of New Vegas and its DLC to go up. So I still have a playthrough. But after New Vegas, I don't have any fully done playthroughs to put up. Now, I am focusing on Dark Souls 3 right now, which we're making nice progress in. We're uh, getting to the giant Yom now. So we're getting done with the base content pretty close here. And we may Made a little headway in one of the DLCs, just a little. We haven't found any bosses yet in it, but uh, I have found a bonfire and some NPCs in it, so we got a little. It's still pretty rough going in that snow area, though, so probably gonna wait until after yawn before making another attempt in the snow area, but uh, I am gonna be focusing on Dark Souls 3 in hopes uh, for Elden Wing. Uh, Elden Wing is gonna have an online mode, unlike Sekiro. Which is one of the reasons I didn't really make playing Sekiro a big priority. Uh, I figured probably wouldn't have as much video content on YouTube. So I didn't think I would have to worry about too much uh, about spoil. Ooh, excuse me, about spoilers. Which, uh, at least in my experience, turned out to be accurate. I didn't see as many funny haha -ha compilations, you know, from like invaders and things. Where you could get accidentally ooped about spoilers and things. Ooh. Excuse me about spoilers and things. Um, so I don't want that with Elden Wing, obviously. I want to, I enjoy, like, one of the things I deeply enjoy about the Souls games is that forced experience with all the community trying to slowly figure out secrets and help each other as a team to get through the troubles and trials of the game. So I really enjoy that. I like the cooperative aspects of that in dealing with pesky evil people that I'm usually not very good at fending off but sometimes you know I have my moments to shine and be take that so so basically yeah we're focusing on Dark Souls 3 at the moment after Dark Souls 3 likely we'll probably be closer to Elden Wing's release date because I'm expecting streams to have a problem in January but I am going to still try of course because uh, I believe I believe Elden Wing comes out at the beginning of the third month. It, it comes out sometime early in the year. And as far as I know, it hasn't been delayed yet. But I mean, there could be potential on it getting delayed. Not that I necessarily want it to be delayed. Uh, of course, I am accepting of that. Because I'd rather have a complete game. Versus things like Fallout 76 and uh, Cyberpunk. Excellent examples why I don't mind delays at all. I'd rather have a nice, comprehensive game and... 
But I mean, like shit, like Persona Five just shows you great fantastic walk on a with, uh, like hell. The original Persona Five never fucking got updated. As far as I know, Royal got one update, and then as far as I know, Strikers got zero updates as well. So see, that's that's the kind of stuff I like to see. So. But anyway, you know, I'm digressing, digressing, digressing. If there is still time between uh, whenever I finish Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, I will likely work on working more on Darkwood, which uh, was our Halloween project. It turned out to be a lot longer than I was expecting, which probably is because I'm over-cautious in survival horror games, usually. I'm a ho- I hoard things, and I'm very cautious and poking around trying to see the limitations of what things do with that usually so uh, that likely has more to do with it uh, taking longer because I imagine people probably speed one through that thing fast when they know what they're doing I imagine you know but um so we'll work on that if there's time in between if not we will go into Elden Wing and that will likely be a good while playing through Elden Wing um, it's, if you're not familiar with Elden Ring, it's basically going to be like Dark Souls 3, but open world, like a Elder Scrolls game, except hopefully not as horribly fucking broken, which I, I mean, seriously, if Elden Ring is a huge success and it comes out really good, and it's, <laughs> I mean, when you look, like, look at every fucking Elder Scrolls game or any of the Bethesda Fallout games, I mean, seriously, there was not a high ball setting here. Like, this is huge potential for FromSoft to literally pull a fucking rug under a Bethesda and take over basically their fucking marketplace here. Like, this, this is huge potential for them. And... I have much, much greater faith in interesting storytelling from FromSoft. FromSoft really knows how to make a mysterious and interesting, thought-provoking story that lets your curiosity help fill in a lot of planks forces. Dog, 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 dog. So, I like I have not been excited for like a big open world game in such a long time because like during the PS3, 360 era was really when that died for me. I mean, and even beforehand on the PS2 and the Woodrow Xbox, open world games were being fucking milked to death in GTA style. They they got a little nice moving away from the GTA thing, trying a few other things like Assassins and um, what was that one will like uh, you were like a weird like monster thing and that. I can't, I can't remember what it's called. I played the first one, never played the second one of that. You know, a few distractions like that. Well, added a little nice touches and that, but I mean, it's just been a very oversaturated market in the Western, so it'll be really, really refreshing, in my opinion, to see a Japanese dev tackle that kind of game, because it's not really something Japanese companies really tackle. And if they do have one, it's usually from a Western company they own, you know, like IDOS from Squire Enix, for example, you know. So, I am very excited for it, so that is the general play idea with uh, Let's Play. Now, the current thing with uh, update showing video game pickup stuff. So, I haven't done in one in a while. I was originally planning to do one for all the Black Friday stuff and that, and the holiday stuff, and the stuff I had, obviously, before that. Uh, I do have quite a lot to show at the moment. However, I am having problems with my camera on my new computer. Now, I can go to my old computer, take my mic and the camera, and put them back on my old computer and do that, which is, is an option. But usually I generally do my pickup stuff after a Let's Play thing, so doing that would entail, you know, shutting down the stream and then waiting and processing and moving all that stuff. While, you know, doable and that, kind of an inconvenience as a viewer or that. So my two options there would be to make a Pacific stream on my comp- old computer just to do the pickups, or... I could try to think outside the box. After all, in these kind of situations, trying to think of a new uh, way to do something is, um, you know, can potentially lead to something interesting in it. So I do have an interesting idea that I might try in the meantime while I'm still trying to 
see if I can figure out why the hell the camera is glitching out on the streams on my new computer. I still have to try a few things. Uh, if that does not work, then yeah. So, something I thought about trying here is, um, essentially I could try taking pictures and edit together, like, you know, I could do something like in VR and show off pictures of things like that. Now, obviously the negative would be that, uh, most case scenarios, that would likely be a little heavier on editing, unless I did it live. Now, how would I be able to do it live? If I took all the pictures, dumped them in a photo, and, you know, uh, did like a slideshow that I can, you know, trigger hitting going to the next picture of that, uh, that could be potential on something. I don't think it would be as interesting in myself. Uh, just looking at a bunch of uh, what essentially won't be very good quality pictures of the products because my phone uh, isn't a very good uh, photography phone, especially with poor lighting and that. So, uh, might be something I might look into trying, but mm, I'm still kind of debating on even attempting it at that. But it is an idea I was thinking of. Either way, I do really need to do something because I got like five, six pals of games that are just continuously building and I need to get them in my catalog and get them sorted and stuff. They are just sitting on a table, just becoming bigger and bigger towels. It's just getting really, really, really ridiculous at this point. So I have to figure out what I need to do or what I want to do depending on it. As for the camera itself, if I can't get the camera working properly, um, I may just cave in and try to do a upgrade on it. As I said on a live stream, I was debating on whether I wanted to get another webcam or go to the next level. Um, I generally, when it com comes to the history of my videos and streaming that, I've generally tried to move upward when getting a new product. Like, you know, I used to not have a web... Well, technically, I, did, I started all of what I've done on YouTube with a webcam, actually, ironically. A very old Logitech webcam is how I first started making a few videos, actually. But who... A lot of oldies, ironically, you know, started like that. So that's not exactly surprising for anyone who's been around YouTube for a very, very, very long time, right? Right? But anyway, um, point is... The camera-wise, you know, most people get those USB things that allow you to connect a camcorder to it, and it tricks your computer into thinking it's a webcam. So you get camcorder quality being recognized as a web camera. But they are usually very expensive. I think the cheapest I saw is like 90 bucks for one of those. And I think the most expensive I've seen is like 200 So very pricey things. And, uh, yeah, so obviously I would like to upgrade, but, you know, I also did buy, like, a thousand dollar computer and a thousand dollar headset, so, yeah, you know, that's, uh, another reason why I decided to work January, because I am expecting January to likely be mostly 60 hours. Hopefully not, but I figured, you know, it's probably going to be 60 hours, and it's a good opportunity to get some extra cash make up for Black Friday, and maybe look into doing something about this camera issue. Because, like I said, I'd whether or not it, <laughs> I'd whether or not stay at the same thing. I'd whether try to move it up if I'm buying something new. So, I well, I have to look into that. So, on that, um. I do have one other thing, this relates to VLC, so uh, a friend of mine in VLC did something absolutely crazy in my opinion. They mailed me trackers. Like, now you might be like, what do you mean trackers? Your hands are all way tracking. Well, uh, full body trackers, uh, which involves a hip tracker and then a tracker for each of your feet. So, um... That was, uh, anyone who knows anything about VRC will probably always be losing their shit because, uh, you will probably realize that actually is not cheap. Now, they are used, but still, uh, that is an amazing gift. 
I want to thank TK, um, who, who tricked me, by the way, because I said, uh, I said, at least allow me to pay for the shipping. I mean, like, that's a, it, it is an amazing gift. I mean, like, I've gotten different gift. like, Dan gave me his, um, oh, were they, those portable... He gave me um, Nomad. I think that's what it was called. The, the portable Sega Genesis handheld thing. Like, Dan sent me that. He also sent me a copy of a old uh, PC game, the uh, My Python Holy Grail. I had a viewer send me a really long time ago a custom Game Boy Color that had a very Japanese paint job on it. I've... I had a viewer give me a little Pikachu clock that I still actually have hanging on uh, on a little ball on one of my shelves. That like I've had a number of gifts, not like not like uh, how should I say like Eagle Raptor drowning in tons of free games kind of gifts, but I've had gifts and I appreciate all these gifts. But like buying a sixty dollar game as one time gift for events, one thing, but buying well. I don't know what they paid for it, but even, like, I, I imagine used track will still have to at least at a minimum cost, like, $150 at a minimum. I can't imagine being a cheap on that unless they were just destroyed or something. Because you're paying, like, about three, dollars $400 for a set of trackles, depending on deal and people and stuff, you know, subjectively around that way. So, I mean, it's just... Like, it's way too expensive of a gift, in my opinion. So, you know, I was like, at least let me pay for the shipping, if not give a little for it, that. But uh, they said, it's like, you know, give me an address that. So I was like, and uh, we'll talk about that. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll give in to your demands. And, uh, yeah, I don't have a PayPal email for them yet. <laughs> if you're watching TK, though, I'm not giving up. I give it up. It's still a good try. But anyway. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> but anyway. Um, I feel like my efforts are going to fail, though. <laughs> but, um... Very amazing gift. Um, I should be getting that soon. Unless it gets delayed in the mail, which, you know, Christmas time, so it kind of varies. But, um, I do want to thank TK for this gift. It's a very nice gift. I'm... I don't... <laughs> I don't really know why you're giving it to me, though, but uh, thank you very much, though. <clears throat> Pardon me. But, uh, again, i like to thank TK for the wonderful gift, though. Um, other than that, um, I hope everyone had a good New Year's and good Christmas. After all, you know, we had Christmas, New Year's, and it's uh, the 2nd of January, so I hope everyone had a very safe New Year's and Christmas, and that didn't get too drunk. I got way too drunk on New Year's, staying up at, like, uh, staying up to my New Year's. <laughs> like, almost all my friend, like, uh, like, Dan's, like, the only, Dan and Aaron are, like, the only fucking American people. <laughs> Everyone else is just fucking full of those damn you people in the future. Damn you future time travelers into New Year's. <laughs> but, um, I do... I'm very thankful for everyone today. As you know, a lot of you know, it was a very complicated year that certainly was not filled with uh, rose-tinted uh, goodness. But there, there was a lot of good things about last year. Um, but there was a lot of bad. It definitely is a very mixed feelings. Uh, for my dad, I can always tell you, like he, he literally doesn't even want to win boy anything about last year, but, uh, but, uh, you know, it's 2022, there's a future ahead of us, and hopefully there will be a world, a path to a greater tomorrow, hopefully. So, here's to hoping 2022 is good. Don't let drama get to you. Don't let uh, political tribalism get to you. That's the worst thing. Like, I know it's going to probably get worse in that regards, but don't don't give in to the tribalism of either side of that. Stay to your convictions and be a good person. Good to those who are good to you. Anyway, I wish everyone good New Year's and that. I'm thankful for all of you. I, <laughs> I wish I could thank 
I wish I could name Lily everyone to thank, but I, I'm afraid if I do it, then I may forget someone. <laughs> and I don't really want to be, like, forgetting anyone in general. Especially right now, since i am been starting to get the feeling uh, some people think I'm sadly ignoring them. Which, you know, if you do feel like that, I, I'm very sorry. I do try to... Respond to everyone, Discord, Twitter, uh, DMs on YouTube, DMs on Twitch, you know. I am a small person, so it's not like I'm getting thousands of messages, but I, I do get messages and comments and things and that. And I do try to respond to them. Admittedly, not always in timely manner, sometimes it might be a few days after it may have happened, depending on where you get. Like, YouTube comments, I usually check every week of that here and now on both my channels and that but I am very thankful for many of you thank you very much for being here continue watching hanging out with me whether it be in VRC through live streams through watching the videos or through discord being a friend of that you know I appreciate your time to reach out to me whether it be as a friend or viewer but Here's to hoping that 2022 goes on to be a better year, I hope. So, with that, I'll have to say, take that! And have a good year. I'll see you in the coming days.